Hello, and thank you for joining the Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Mercer County, the Department of Family and Community Health Sciences, and SNAP-Ed for today's lesson. Today is part two of our MyPlate series, and we will be discussing food group specifics and portions when it comes to MyPlate. When it comes to MyPlate, there are five different food groups represented. The food group represented in red are fruits. In green, there are vegetables, in brown, grains, in purple, protein, and in blue, there's dairy. If you look at the pink box in the lower left-hand corner, you'll also see that MyPlate advises to drink and eat beverages and food with less sodium, saturated fat, and added sugars. Also, MyPlate knows that trying to make drastic shifts to your diet can be difficult even if it's getting you toward, toward a more healthy diet. Therefore, MyPlate advises to start with small changes that you can enjoy, like having an extra piece of fruit today. Next, we're going to discuss each food group, what kinds of foods within that food group MyPlate recommends, and the portion sizes. All of these recommendations are based on a 2,000 calorie plan. If you want a more specialized plan, we suggest that you visit supertracker.usda.gov to personalize your own plan. When it comes to fruits, it's recommended to focus on whole fruits and select 100% fruit juice when choosing fruit juices. It's also suggested to buy fruits that are dried, frozen, canned, or fresh so that you can always have supply on hand. When it comes to portions, the recommendation for a daily consumption of fruit is two cups. One cup can count as one large banana, one cup of mandarin oranges, one half cup of raisins, one cup of 100% grapefruit juice. When it comes to vegetables, it's recommended to eat a variety of vegetables and add them to mixed dishes like casseroles, sandwiches, and wraps. Fresh frozen, and canned count too. Look for reduced sodium or no salt added on the label. When it comes to portions of vegetables that we should be eating daily, two and a half cups is recommended. One cup of vegetables can count as two cups of raw spinach, one large bell pepper, one cup of baby carrots, one cup of green peas, or one cup of mushrooms. When it comes to grains, it's recommended to choose whole grain versions of common foods such as bread, pasta, and tortillas. Not sure if it's a whole grain? Check the ingredients list for the words whole or whole grain. When it comes to portion sizes that's recommended for the daily consumption of grains, six ounces is the recommended daily intake. One ounce of grains count as one slice of bread, one half cup of cooked oatmeal, one small tortilla, one half cup of cooked brown rice, and one half cup of cooked grits. When it comes to dairy, it's recommended to choose low fat, 1% or fat-free skim dairy. You can get the same amount of calcium and other nutrients as whole milk, but with less saturated fat and calories. Lactose intolerant, try lactose-free milk or a fortified soy beverage. When it comes to the recommended daily intake, three cups is recommended. One cup can count as one cup of milk, one cup of yogurt, or two ounces of processed cheese. Last but not least are proteins. It's recommended to eat a variety of protein foods such as beans, soy, seafood, lean meats, poultry, and unsalted nuts and seeds. Select seafood twice a week. Choose lean cuts of meat and ground beef that is at least 93% lean. When it comes to the recommended portion size for daily intake, five and a half ounces is recommended. One ounce counts as one ounce of tuna fish, one fourth cup of cooked beans, one tablespoon of peanut butter, or one egg. MyPlate also recommends to drink water instead of sugary drinks. Regular soda, energy, or sports drinks 
and other sweet drinks usually contain a lot of added sugar, which provides more calories than is really needed. Physical activity is another really important part of MyFleet. You don't want to forget physical activity. Being active can help you prevent disease and manage your weight. When it comes to physical activity, physical activity should be moderate or vigorous, meaning it gets your heart rate above normal resting levels. Kids need 60 minutes a day, and adults need 30 minutes at least five times per week. Thank you for joining us for today's lesson. For more great recipes and content like this, please follow or like us on Facebook.